all right folks so welcome back to the channel and in this video I'm going to talk about weathering uh, and what I plan to do uh, so I want to try and make this look post apocalyptic <laughs> uh, yeah English English is my first language but at 48 years of age I'm still struggling with it yeah, so I want to make this look like something out of Mad Max, uh, all rusty and uh, well used. Um, so I was just going to do paint. I was just going to, you know, put like a, a black or a brown wash over it and wipe off the excess, leave it all dirty and grimy. But uh, I've been watching some videos by uh, another YouTuber, RC Every Day. Who does lots of uh, rust effects on his uh, like rat rods, and he was using a product. Uh, it's like a, a paint that you put on that actually rusts, and I struggled to find it here in the UK, um, but I did find some. It's not the same stuff as, uh, you know, the same being used. Um, but I think it's going to work. So it's a uh, rusting iron paint. Um, it's basically, as far as you can tell, it's like acrylic paint with loads of iron filings in it. Uh, so you paint that on and then you spray it with this catalyst and activator, which causes it to rust. So I've been experimenting with it uh, over the past couple of weeks. And I'll show you some of the results I've got here so far on some of the smaller parts on the truck. So we've done a couple of bits here, uh, a couple of the doors and stuff, some, some of the smaller bits that have popped off. So these barrels are the like the rear bumper on the truck. So this is what they look like to start with. And this is the finished result. Hopefully I can get this to focus. No, maybe not. So yeah, uh, it does do an excellent job. Uh, but the, the paint is basically brown, really dark brown paint. The stuff that I've seen that I wasn't able to get seems to be like a clear paint which rusts so you can see through it but this stuff you can't see through it so as you can see these were red to start with so the way you apply this paint is you you put a coat of the paint on and you allow it to dry and then you put a second coat on uh, allow it to partially dry and then you spray on the activator so i've had varying results I don't know if it's something that I'm doing or if it just <laughs> works sometimes and sometimes it doesn't. So as you can see, the barrel turned out really well. Here's the other barrel. You can see there's some uh, green bits appeared on it as well. It's sort of like corrosion you would get from like a battery. That sort of type of corrosion seems to appear. In certain spots there doesn't seem to be much of a rhyme or reason to how this rusts <clears throat> so you can see see how some bits have turned out really well um, and other bits this a uh, basically this but I painted it and then I wiped off the majority of it and tried to leave you know just like the the deep part with the paint in it and it's actually turning out or showing up better on the camera with the light from the camera than it is really to the eye but it definitely works this is the side door Again, turned out really well. 
uh, done the back of it. The back of it rusted completely different to how the front of it rusted. But yeah, turns out turned out really well. Sorry, that's the, the front door from the truck. This is the side door. So this had the stickers on it that's meant to be like graffiti. So we just left them on and tried to work around it. Again, that green bit up there is a sticker. And on the back side as well, because these doors do open, so I didn't want to open the door and just see it plain plastic on the inside. So just to give you a comparison, that's the standard plastic. Um, that's how that door looked before it started. Yeah, it definitely is, uh, works well. Now, it takes a while because I have to leave, put a coat of paint on, leave it to dry. And then it's put a second coat of paint on, spray it, and then you have to leave it for like 48 hours. And the rust gradually builds up on it over those 48 hours. So there's several other bits on the truck which come off. These, uh, these front bumpers. They pop off, so any bits that I can take off, I'm going to do those separately. And we'll do the main body of the truck on its own. Hopefully I can, yeah, I can pop these windows out. So I can do them separately, so I sort of won't be as uniform. If I just painted the whole thing, it would, I think it would turn out very uniform. So, yep, uh, hopefully I can take off some of these green bits as well. This, uh, this big gun just pop, pops off from the side so we can do it separately so that's uh, really all I have to say about it um, hopefully I have enough activator left I've used half a bottle of the activator just experimenting with this um, you know trying different amounts spraying a wee bit on spraying a lot on um, this is a It's a little chimney, focus, the little chimney that sticks out of the top of the van. So yeah, you can see some of it seems to rust well and other bits don't rust as much. I don't really know what the secret is. So I'll do a bit of a time lapse here. Um, I'll set the camera up. Like I said, it's going to take me a couple of days to paint this thing. I'm going to have to pop all these plastic bits off, or as many as I can get off. And just plaster up the paint and hope for the best.
Okay, so it's a few days later and as you can see it has rusted up quite well. Um, I have reapplied the activator. Uh, I did discover something while I was doing this. Um, for example, this gun, I would I sprayed the whole thing with the activator and then I left it sitting like that on the clamp. And I noticed that the top was rusting, but the sides weren't. So it appears that if I then spray this side with the activator and leave that side pointing up the way, it will rust. So I've had to reapply the activator to this and leave it sitting for 24 hours with the wet side facing up and it seems to rust. But if I was to spray this side and leave it facing down the way, it doesn't seem to rust. So, yeah, uh, so it's taken me a couple of days to get at the stage. Um, as you can see, it's rusting up well. Looks really good in my opinion. Just show you around all the bits here. It's the front bumpers. Not an awful lot of rust on that one. But I don't want the whole thing to look the same. Uh, so, yeah, it's coming along nicely. So that's about it. Uh, I still haven't put the second coat of paint on the actual truck body. So that's next. I'm going to get all this stuff. Excuse the focus. I'm going to get all this stuff out of the way and then I'm going to start work on getting this to rust. So that'll be it for this video. Uh, the next video will hopefully be the reveal of the finished product uh, it's taken me a while to get to this stage but i've been enjoying it hopefully it'll be worthwhile to see it all nice and rusty and finished so thanks for watching guys catch in the next one bye for now